Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we're going to talk about what's called the normal force. Okay, uh, normal, this is a mathematical term and it means perpendicular to, okay? So um, a normal force is a contact force that acts perpendicular to a surface of contact between two objects. Right? So it's a contact force. The two objects have to be touching one another. And it acts perpendicular to the common surface of contact. Right. So the normal force is a contact force that acts perpendicular to the common surface of contact. Now, in the case of a book on a table, it's pretty easy to analyze. All right. Got the book on a table. Right. We know that the um, force of gravity is acting on it, the weight of the book. And we've seen this before, that there has to be some force acting against that if the object is not accelerating. So since the book is just resting on the table, it is not accelerating, there has to be some force pointing upwards against the force due to gravity. And this can be what we call the normal force. You can see that the surface of contact is this plane right here, where book meets table, and the force, the normal force, is perpendicular to that surface. Now, a book resting on the table is about the easiest um, <coughs> examination we can do of a normal force, right? If we add up these forces, then we have the normal force in the upward direction, the force due to gravity in the downward direction. All right. We'll replace some things here. We know also by Newton's second law that we can find that with the book's mass times its acceleration. That's going to be the normal force. And I'm going to have this as minus mg. So I'm going to sort of take the negative out of the acceleration due to gravity, put it out here, because we know that's in the downward direction. So we're adding a negative force in a sense. All right, the next step, we want to get the normal force <coughs> on its own. Well, even before that, we can see something very nice. If the acceleration is zero, then this whole side is zero. And we can see what happens by adding the weight to both sides. We can see that the normal force in this case is equal to the weight of the object. Now, that doesn't need to always be the case. Well, this is just one instance of it. We can see another case as well. So here we have the case where we've got the book, all right? It is on a flat surface. The force, the normal force on the book is pointed directly upwards in this case. But we can see that if this is no longer just a level uh, plane here, if we make it into a ramp, what happens to that normal force as the ramp gets steeper and steeper? Well, the normal force is going to have to react to that as well. So we have to keep in mind that the normal force is just the force that is perpendicular to the surface of contact. If the surface of contact is a flat level surface, well, your normal force is just straight up like so. If you've got it on some type of ramp, 
the normal force is, again, perpendicular to the surface of contact, your normal force is going to be like so. If you've got some type of circular or spherical object, then you will take a line that is tangent to that object at one point, and its normal force would look like so. <clears throat> All right, in the next bit, we're going to do an example that somewhat demonstrates this.